the gospel of Jesus Christ. Adam died in the creator's day, not in the creation's day. It is written. Genesis 2, 16 through 17. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof thou shalt surely die. The Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, whose name is Jesus Christ, is before time, because time was created by the Creator. As the scriptures say, Psalms 92, Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. The first creature the Creator created was time, then space, then matter, as it is written. Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, time, God created the heaven, space, and earth, matter. These creatures were made with the word, and the creature time was made before the creature light. Genesis 1 and 3. The creatures evening and morning God used to form the first day as written in the scriptures. Genesis 1 and 5. And God called the light day and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. The creature man is the only creature made in the image of God who was created on the sixth day as it is written. Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And again it is written. Genesis 131. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. After the sixth day, there was no sin in heaven or in earth. How do we know? Because God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. That was on the sixth day. There was no sin in all of creation on the seventh day when God rested when the heavens and earth were finished. Genesis 2 and 1. How do we know? Because God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, as it is written. Genesis 2 and 3. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it, he had rested from all his work which God created and made. There is no sin in sanctification because that which is sanctified is obedient to God's will and free from sin. As the scriptures say, 1 Corinthians 6, 11, And such were some of you, but ye are washed, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified, in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. And again, it is written, Romans 6, 17, 18. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you, being then made free from sin. Ye became the servants of righteousness. It was some time after the seventh day was complete that Lucifer saw his beauty and this corrupted his wisdom. And iniquity, which is evil, was found in the creature Lucifer. As the scriptures say, Ezekiel 28, 15, Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. Again, it is written, Ezekiel 28, 17, Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty and thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. The beauty corrupted Lucifer's wisdom because of his brightness. Because of this iniquity, which is evil, being found in him, that iniquity made him sin, making God cast him out of the mountain of God in heaven as it is written. Ezekiel 28, 16. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with violence, and thou hast sinned. 
Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. The word testified that he saw when Lucifer, now called Satan, fell from heaven. And God did it so fast, it was like lightning. Luke 10, 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. But there was no death when Satan sinned. Why? Because Satan, or none of the angels, were made in the image of God. Death could only enter in by the sin of man. Because of all the creatures made by God, only men, male and female, were made in the image of God. Genesis 127. As the scripture say, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for all have sinned. Romans 5.12. This is why evolution is a lie from the devil. Because the theory of evolution requires that something must first die before something better can evolve. But men, male and female, were here on the earth on the sixth day of all creation before death entered into the world. Death is the catalyst for evolution. 13.7 billion years cannot start before the first day. Mathematically, sound teaching proves that there is no day before the first day. So with man being on earth on the sixth day and death, which is the jump start of the theory of evolution, didn't appear and enter the world until after the seventh day, then the theory of evolution collapses right in front of our eyes. The philosophers, who deceive the people after the rudiments, principles of the world, which are to lie, kill, steal, and might makes right. Those are the principles of the world. Then they lie and say, the creation account is talking about the second heaven and earth before the earth was without form and void. That's another desperation lie by the devil. Because we still here, even in the 21st century, on the first earth, in the first heaven. As the scriptures say, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Without form and void is giving the creature man the reference point after the creature time was made to show what the earth, not heaven, but what the earth looked like in the beginning, which was water, with God's spirit moving upon its surface, a circle of water, all on the first day. As the scriptures say, Genesis 1 and 2, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Again, it is written, Genesis 1 and 5, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Yet again, it is written, Isaiah 40, 22, It is he that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretcheth out the heavens as a curtain, and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. However, sometime after the seventh day, Lucifer sinned and was cast out of heaven into the pit of hell where many of his angels are still today. As it is written, Isaiah 14, 15, Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. And again, it is written, Jude 1 and 6, and the angels, which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, ye have reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. God allowed the devil to be loosed from hell to roam the earth. As the scriptures say, 1 Peter 5, 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, 
as a roaring lion, walking about seeking whom he may devour. Notice if you will, that old serpent, the great dragon, called the devil and Satan, deliberately went to deceive the woman. Why? He wanted mankind to die. How do we know? He used deception, acting like he didn't know what God said to the man. As the scriptures say, Genesis 3.1, Now the serpent was more subtle than any other beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yay, now God said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Just like these devils in the theological Bible institutions, they act like they don't know what God said. They know that God said his words are pure silver tried in the furnace of earth, purified seven times, that God will keep and preserve them from this generation forever in Psalms 12, 6, and 7. They know that God said his law is perfect and his testimonies are sure, Psalms 19 and 7. They know that God said his word is right, Psalms 33 and 4. They know that God said his words are certain, Proverbs 22 and 21. And they know the word said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Mark 13, 31. But just like their father, the devil, John 8, 44, they play dumb on y'all future pastors and teachers that they are training to doubt God's word. And they tell the people whose souls they're supposed to be watching that all Bibles are slow. Even the authorized Holy Bible. That's the devil. They know. Like the devil knew. But he deceived the woman acting like he didn't know what God said. Every Jesuit in the Vatican. Every Bible translator. Every Bible book publisher. Every revised Bible pastor and preacher, every revised Bible reader knows that they got a flawed book. This is from the Committee on Bible Translators themselves in September 2010. So their own words have condemned them as being unbelievers in what God authored in his pure silver tried, seven times preserved, forever settled in heaven, perfect law, sure testimony, certain words, book of the Lord. That God will judge all of them on judgment day to go along with all of this garbage in these revised version Bibles. Guaranteed. Quote, the committee has again been reminded that every human effort is flawed including this revision of the NIV. The Committee on Bible Translation, September 2010. End quote. Because people believe the devil when the devil told them that the authorized Holy Bible was out of date, flawed with errors, and just not good enough based on late manuscripts. So the people that their first book because of what the devil said. And they left their first love for the devil's flawed book of lies with a vast Bible on the cover to deceive the people. They see, this is the Bible. No, it ain't. There's gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth on Judgment Day. Repent! Don't go to hell over no flawed revised Bible that the devil himself has told you they flawed. We prove it all the time that all them 400 plus revised version Bibles are flawed. Look at Mark 1 and 2 and then compare it to Malachi 3 and 1 and look at the life of yourself. Folks will be judged by what they know. As the scriptures say, James 17. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. If you don't know nothing, then know this. When the serpent played dumb on the woman to deceive her, the devil knew what God said. But he lied to the woman after his deception and told her, You won't die. See, that's a lie. As the scripture said, 
Genesis 3, 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. What does this tell you? When you know by the scriptures that the devil knew what God said, and that he deliberately called God a lie, just like all these philosophers who ain't nothing but cowards. How do we know? They don't stand behind nothing they say. They continue to say stuff like this. Well, we can't be dogmatic. Well, we can't be certain. Well, what if the Bible is wrong? And then this one. How do we know that's what Jesus Christ said? That's cowardice. Mm -hmm. That's what you do when you're a coward. That's what makes them theologians. Guesswork. Theologians. They all got flawed theories saying, We don't know for sure, so we think God lied when he said he would preserve his word from this generation and forever, but we just don't know. Saying, We don't know if the authorized Holy Bible is correct. That's the devil in them. Rebuke them openly so that others may fear, as it is written. Proverbs 27.5 Open rebuke is better than secret love. I get it is written. 1 Timothy 5.20 Them that sin rebuke before all, that others also may fear. So again, you see the devil knows that it is impossible for God to lie. Hebrews 6.18 So the serpent thought that he would use the woman to get to the man, which has and is being done right now and has been done for centuries. So that the man would do what? Die. Mm -hmm. When? In the day he ate the As the scriptures say, Genesis 2.17, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it, for in the day that thou eatest thereof, Thou shalt surely die. Only one problem for that old serpent, the dragon, the devil called Satan. What's that? The devil is the creature, not the creator. So the creator, who is from everlasting to everlasting, who knows all things, whose ways is above all his creatures' ways, and whose thoughts are above all his creatures' thoughts, including the devil, when the devil heard God tell the man, For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. The devil thought God was talking about the day for the creatures of creation. Not realizing that God was talking about the day for the creator. God was telling the man that in the day that the creator has established for himself. Oh, uh, do we know? Because who else? in creation was made after the image of God. Nobody, not even the angels or Lucifer, the only ones made after the image of God was men. Male and female. As the scriptures say, Psalms 8, verse 6, What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet. Mankind made lower than the angels, yet in the image of God. As the scriptures say, Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female. Created he them. When God told the man not to eat of the fruit, there was no sin in the world. There was no death and being made in God's image. The day God was telling man about was the days as with the Lord. The devil didn't know this. The devil's ministers in these theological Bible correctional institutions don't know this today. So that's when they tell the pastors and teachers and their worldly friends who tell the children and then they all say, God lied. How did God lie, Satan? God said 
For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. See, that's a lie. No, it ain't. But that's the position of the deceived from what the devil and his ministers have told the people. The deception is so strong that folks with their milk bottle pastors and teachers who ain't ready to be preaching or teaching God's gospel go on to the fence with unlearned ants. Saying stuff like, Man did die that day. He lost God's image. No, he didn't, genius. Have you not read? Have you not heard? Man was still in the image of God even after the flood. That's why God told man not to shed another man's blood. As the scriptures say, Genesis 9 6, Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image, of God made he man. Then they figure out that with a skillful man of Jesus Christ, who is on the meat of the word, then that one ain't gonna work. Yeah, they figure out that that one definitely ain't gonna work on the servant of God and on the saints that know the authorized Holy Bible. So then they come out of this bag saying, well, on the day the man ate the fruit, he died spiritually. That's a lie from the devil too. Have you not heard? Have you not read? Man is made of body, soul, and spirit. 1 Thessalonians 5, 22. The moment the man's spirit leaves his body, then he is dead, as it is written. James 2, 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. But Adam's body wasn't dead after he ate the fruit. He knew his wife. She conceived the twins, Cain the firstborn, in Abel, Genesis 4, 1 and 2. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. And she again bare his brother Abel, and Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Then he knew his wife again, and she bare Seth, Genesis 4, 25. And Adam knew his wife again. And she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God have appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Adam lived long enough after he ate the fruit, even with sin in the world, to begat sons and daughters, being so many that the Holy Scriptures don't even name them, as it is written. Genesis 5, 4. And the days of Adam after he had begotten Seth were 800 years, and he begat sons and daughters. So then they figure out that failed theory of theirs ain't gonna work until finally they got nothing left. And then they have to consult with the men of Jesus Christ. Hear the word of the Lord. The creation, starting from the measurement of time, days are from the evening and the morning. That's for the creation. Everything that was created by the creator. As the scriptures say, Genesis 1 and 5, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. But the Creator's day is not evening and morning, but the Creator's day is as a thousand years. As the scriptures say, 2 Peter 3 and 8, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Therefore, when God told the man, For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die, God was telling the man in his image, his day, and not the creation's day. I'll do it up. When did man die? If man died, on the day of year 1000 or that on the day in the year 1001 then that would be a lie so the question to find out what day god was talking about is when you realize that man did not live beyond a thousand years in fact man did not live to a thousand years man died at 930 years less than one day of the creator 
So he died in that day, which was less than a thousand years. One day with the Lord is a thousand years. He died in year 930, so he died in that day within a thousand years. Then he died, as the scriptures say. And all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. Genesis 5, 5. See, the serpent didn't know this. Just like the philosophers with their guesswork theology don't know this either. The creator is always above his creation. So the devil came up, shout, God don't lie. The holy scriptures are his sure testimony. And man died before a thousand years, which is as one day with our creator. Keep on studying, saints. And to the theologians with their foolish and unlearned questions, repent and believe the gospel. Amen and amen.